Hello and welcome to the session in which we would look at the break-even analysis. What is the break-even analysis or the break-even point? The break-even point is when your net operating income, your profit, equal to zero. It means you have no gain and no loss for a particular period. Well, when would that happen? It's when your revenue equal to your cost. When you account for all your revenue and you have equal cost, guess what? Revenue minus cost or revenue minus expenses equal to zero. Simply put, we can expand this formula by saying sales minus your variable expenses minus your fixed cost equal to your profit. Your profit equal to zero. So simply put, sales is revenue or sales revenue, sales revenue, and this is your cost. When those two equal to each other, you have a profit of zero. Now we can express this by saying sales minus variable expenses. Remember, sales minus your variable expenses equal to your contribution margin. Well, contribution margin minus fixed cost. When that's equal to zero, you break even. Or simply put, another way to look at it is contribution margin equal to fixed cost. Whatever sales minus variable expense, if this is equal to 100 and your fixed cost is 100, that's equal to zero. Simply put, your contribution margin equal to your fixed cost, you break even. So there's many ways to look at this, but the most important formula that we're going to be generating, deriving some formulas from is this one here, which is the contribution margin income statement. Now, why is break even analysis important? Because for a company, they want to know when do they break even? Because after you break even, for every additional unit you sell, you start to make a profit. Let's take a look at an example to illustrate the concept. Again, we're working with Adam Electronics. Adam is selling tablets. Each tablet Adam's selling is for $500. The variable cost per tablet is 300. 500 minus 300 equal to 200 contribution margin per unit. If we take 200 divided by $500 will give us the contribution margin percentage. And in this income statement, contribution margin format income statement, we assume if we sell 400 unit, well, we have sales of 200,000, 300 dollar per variable cost per unit times 400 is 120 200 minus 120 equal to 80,000 80,000 of contribution margin minus 80,000 of fixed cost equal to zero so this is easy basically because all the numbers are given to us now how do we find out what is the break even using a formula basically this information is giving to us here can we derive some formulas or some shortcuts from this contribution margin income statement let's assume we want to know how many units do we need to sell to break even how many units do we need to sell well how many units do we need to sell what do we need to do remember we need to cover our fixed cost this is to break even we need to cover our fixed cost well if we need to cover our fixed cost what is going to help us cover our fixed cost remember if this is fixed cost if this is the fixed cost bucket we need to have enough profit in this bucket until it's filled. So what contribute to this fixed cost? It's the contribution margin. So each one of those units is $200. So every time we sell a unit, we contribute $200. Simply put, how many $200 do we need to fill this bucket? Well, that's, that's easy. If I take my 80,000 divided by 200, it looks like I need 400 units. Well, I need to sell 400 units. So to find the break-even point, in terms of quantity unit, I need to cover my fixed cost. So if I take my fixed cost, divided my fixed cost by the unit contribution margin, simply put, I'm dividing by the unit contribution margin per unit, which is $200, I will find my break even per unit. Unit is quantity. So if I want to find out how many tablets I need to sell, well, I need to cover my fixed cost. How many tablets do I need to sell? Well, think about it. To sell enough tablets, I need to cover 80,000. Each tablet is giving me $200 in contribution margin. How many $200 I need? I need 400. And if you want to prove it, you could always complete your contribution margin income statement. So that's one way to find the break even in terms of unit, which is quantity. Also, sometimes you want to find your break even point in terms of sales. What is the sales needed? Now, obviously, once you find the unit, it's easy to find the sales. If you find the unit, you multiply this by 500, it will give you 200,000. But let's assume you want, you don't have the unit, the quantity, but you want to find the sales. How do you find the sales? Well, let's think about it. 
you need enough sales okay we don't know what sales is we're gonna say sales x we know for every dollar in sales you make 40 percent so sales times 0.4 okay sales times 0.4 equal to should equal to 80,000 why 80,000 80,000 is the fixed cost you need to cover your fixed cost we know the fixed cost well let's solve this formula if sales which is we don't know but sales from sales we can keep 40 percent profit well we can say x equal to 80,000 divided by 0.4 all what i did is i divide both sides by 0.4 simply put x equal to 200,000 simply put the formula is you take your fixed cost divided by the contribution margin percentage and i just showed you why we use the contribution margin percentage basically for every sales i make a certain profit from that profit i need enough to cover 80,000 simply put solve for sales x x equal to fixed cost divided by the contribution margin percentage remember the contribution margin percentage when you use the percentage in the denominator you are finding the dollar amount so when you use the when you use the dollar amount which is the contribution margin per unit you're finding the quantity when in the denominator you are using the contribution margin percentage you are finding the dollar notice the new the numerator is the same which is eighty thousand dollars so this is the formula on how to compute the break-even analysis now the best way is to sh see this formula in a form of an example to see if you can apply it but before we look at an example i would like to remind you whether you are a student or a cpa candidate and most likely that's who you are that's why you are watching please take a look at my website farhatlectures.com i can help you with your accounting courses i can help you with your cpa review courses i don't replace your cpa review courses what i do is i provide you additional resources like Lectures, multiple choice true false exercises that's going to help you do better if you have not connected with me on social media please do so linkedin connect with me on youtube like this recording share it with other instagram facebook twitter reddit and my cpa exam support group on group me let's take a look at this example to illustrate the concept calculate the break-even point in unit sales so here we are we are asked to compute the unit sales for a company that has below uh, that has below contribution margin format income statement the below contribution margin right here sales fifty thousand dollar in sales variable expenses contribution margin fixed expenses and net operating income so here we want to know what do we need to do simply put how many units do we need to sell to make this number go down to zero now we know it's going to be less than a thousand right so but all these are less than a thousand so how do we solve this problem well there's more more than one way to do it remember we can use the contribution margin per unit so we need to cover we need to cover our fixed expenses so our fixed expenses are fourteen thousand. if we take fixed expenses divided by the contribution margin per unit we should get this answer but hold on a second i am not giving the contribution margin per unit well although it's not giving you should be able to derive this information how do i derive this information if i sold 100 unit for 50,000, that means if I take 50,000 divided by 1,000 unit, my selling price is $50. I'm selling each unit for $50. If my variable expense in total is 32,500 for 1,000 unit, well, 32,500 divided by 1,000 unit, my variable cost per unit is 32.50. Now I can take $50, my selling price minus the variable cost will give me a contribution margin of $17.50. Now, if I take 14,000 divided by 17.50, and let, let's do that, $14,000 divided by 17.50, it's going to give me 800 unit. 800 unit is what I needed. Now, once I find the 800 unit, well, now I can basically prove it to myself if I want to, which I will. So, if I take 800 units times fifty dollars let's let's do the math 800 unit 800 unit times fifty dollars that's going to give me sales of forty thousand dollar 800 units times 3250 that's going to give me variable expense of 26 40 minus 26 equal to 14,000 minus 14,000 of fixed cost gave me my break-even point of 
zero. What should you do now? Go to farhatlectures.com. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe and work additional multiple choice questions like this one where I where I give you computational as, as well as theoretical questions that's going to help you reinforce the concept as well as multiple choice, true, false, and exercises. Invest in yourself. Good luck, study hard, and of course, stay safe.